Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. All right, Canadian Football League's CFL week number 20. Two weeks left in the regular season. This week, next week, and then the road to the Grey Cup begins. I came to the CFL week 8 when I started doing kind of picks on the side. Started videos, I think it was week 12 or 13. It's been quite all right. Um, so week 19, I went 3-1, and win-loss. 3-1 and one against the spread. 3-1 and over-under. Over, over, Raised me a year to date of win-loss, 30-16. and 16. Against the spread, 24-22. and 22. Over under 29 and 17, overall 60%. I'm happy with that. I'm excited for 2020. Um, obviously, when January, when the calendar turns, we have NCAA bowl games, national championship games. We have playoffs to the NFL that run up till February Super Bowl. The week after the Super Bowl is the XFL that begins in February through April. We have a month off in May, and then June begins CFL, and then on into NFL and college. So, plan is to do all, all weeks next week for the CFL. So, as we head into week 20, again, two weeks left in the regular season. We know our playoff teams. Um, in the West Conference, we have Calgary, who's 11-5. Saskatchewan, who's also 11-5. And, and then Winnipeg, who's 10-7. and seven. Calgary and Saskatchewan are fighting for that number one, number one spot. Who gets the first round by? Over in the East, Hamilton's already 13 and three. They got the first round by. They are playing for nothing. Montreal is nine and seven. The crossover team is Edmonton, who's eight and eight. We already know Edmonton and Montreal playing in the first round of the playoffs. Hamilton has a first round by. There's nothing to play for on the East. The West, we're looking for the number one. Now we have first game. We have the Calgary Stampede, 11 and five. Versus the Winnipeg Blue Bombers, who are 10 and 7. Winnipeg needs to win this game to have won any chance of getting to the first round bye, but they also need help. They need Saskatchewan and Calgary to lose. Um, so far this year, between Winnipeg and Calgary, two matchups, they're 1 and 1. In the last 10 games, though, Calgary's won 7 of 3, or 7 out of 10. But, we take a look at these two teams. They're going to be some ports on the board. Um, Calgary's fourth in yards, while Winnipeg's third in yards. Calgary, on the road this year, they're four and three. Winnipeg is seven and one at home. Calgary's actually favored by two and a half in this game. Because of that seven and one home record for Winnipeg, I'm giving the two and a half to Winnipeg. I have them winning covering. So then we're going to have a... 11 and 7 Winnipeg team, 11 and 6 Calgary team, and then whatever Saskatchewan does. So we may really have a battle going into next week for that home field advantage from the West, first round by on the West. So Winnipeg winning, giving the 2.5 they cover, over on the 47.5. If it's anything like their last two games where Winnipeg won 26-24, then Calgary won 37-33. Next up, we have a game that means absolutely nothing for either team. This is a preseason game. This game means absolutely deadly shit for these two teams. Hamilton Tigers are 13-3, first round by. Their only goal this week and next week is don't get hurt. The Montreal Alouettes, who are 9-7, they already know they're playing Edmonton in the first round of the playoffs. They have nothing to play for at all. The goal is not to get anyone hurt. Too bad they can just can't forfeit this game for either team. There's no, I mean, there's zero reason for this game to matter. Um, Hamilton is favored by two and a half on the road. I don't think they're going to play anyone. I think they're just going to just put in cruise control. There's no need for them to go out there and give it all. Hamilton is favored by two and a half on the road. I think Montreal wants to knock off Hamilton more than Hamilton wants to knock off Montreal. I think the Alouettes, if they're able to knock off Hamilton here, it gives them the kind of motivation going into the playoffs because if they're able to take out Edmonton in the first round, they face Hamilton. So if they go to that game one, we already beat them recently. We can beat them. It's going to be a lot of mental 
mental uh, advantage there for him. So I'm giving the two and a half to Montreal. I got them winning, covering, and under on the 53 and a half. Now this game absolutely means nothing to no one. No one cares. The only thing is we're battling for the worst record in, in CFL. Yes, we are talking about the 3 and 13 Toronto Argonauts hosting the 3 and 13 Ottawa Red Blacks. Yeah, um, just means nothing. It's the worst record. It's for the worst record. The loser gets bound for the worst record. I mean, God. Um, Toronto is actually 2 0 this year versus uh, Ottawa. Uh, they won 46 17 and 28 21. Toronto's favorite by five. I got them winning, covering, and under on the 52 and a half. Next up, we have the 11 and five Saskatchewan Rough, Rough Riders versus the 8 and 8 Edmonton Eskimos. This game doesn't mean anything to Edmonton. They're already in playoffs. But again, it's going to be that mental advantage if they face off in the playoffs, which they could face off for the Grey Cup. If Edmonton's able to get a couple upsets in the playoffs. Saskatchewan's either get supply or they get a couple upsets. This could be your honestly could be the Grey Cup Finals. Um, so I mean, if Edmonton's able to figure out a way to beat Saskatchewan, maybe that kind of helps them. I don't see that happening. Edmonton's won won twenty six nineteen this year, and Saskatchewan won the other game nineteen twelve. In the last ten, Edmonton is seven and three versus the uh, Saskatchewan. I think that first round by in the playoff is motivation enough. The Saskatchewan can beat Edmonton in Edmonton. I got the Rough Riders winning. Rough Riders winning, covering the one. Obviously, a one point favorite right now. I'm taking under on the 47 and a half. So Saskatchewan wins, covers the one point, and then under on the 47 and a half. All right. So that wraps up CFL week number 20. It's been quite the season. I want to thank each and every one of you who take time out of your busy schedule to view my video. Make sure you check out the NCAA and the NFL if you have time. Uh, if there's anything else you would like me to uh, cover my CFL, comment below. I do like interacting with the fans as well. Um, so stay tuned for next week for week 20. And then we start the road to the Grey Cup. And then we start playoffs everywhere. And yeah, it's going to be a lot going on. As always, thanks for watching Robert Sports Show. Don't just have a great day. Have a spiffy day. Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader in sports sound content.